everyone. Welcome back to our next activity. We're going to try something called salt painting, painting today. Um, what you will need is just some cardboard, so some old boxes that you've cut out or some white cardboard. Uh, you will need some glue that you're going to swirl around. You will need some food colouring. It's not a bad idea to put it into little containers, which we've done here. And you'll need either little droppers, we've got some droppers, or thin paint brushes and a bowl of salt. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I should probably show you. This is one I had a go at yesterday. So I can, you can get a bit of an idea of the pretty colors and what you can do with it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. Kate's already put the glue on hers and you can see that she's done it in little swirls like a spider web. You can do it in whatever pattern you like. I'm going to put mine on now. Any pattern you like. And that will probably just about do for now. The next thing we're going to do is sprinkle our salt over the glue. So everywhere that you've trickled glue, sprinkle a nice little handful of salt. Doesn't matter if you make a mess, we can tap it off at the end. Just make sure you put a nice cover over it. And when you're done, this is why it's a good idea to be outside, shake it off. And there you can see you've got your salt stuck to your glue. Uh, this is the book that I got the idea from. It's called Play, Make, Create. I recommend everyone borrowing it. It's got some really awesome activities in it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is start painting our salt. Kate's going to use the dropper and I'm using the brush. And as you dab the food colouring onto the salt, you can see it run. The dropper actually works probably better, but we're not in a rush, so <laughs> the, paint, the paintbrush is fun too. And you can do little sections like Kate's doing a bit here or, and a bit there, or you can do what I'm doing and do a whole section or one color. It's completely up to you. Good idea to have the cup of water there to clean out your dropper with. As you can see, Kate's getting through hers a lot faster because when you put the little droppets of food colouring down with the dropper, they spread quite well. Mine don't spread quite as quickly. If you've got watercolour paints at home, you can use those as well, or the food colouring works just as well. I'll just finish up my last little bit with a different colour. There we go. And there's our finished product. So there's lots of different patterns or ideas you could do with it. It's a bit of fun with some salt, some glue and some food colouring. Send us in your pictures when you've done them. We can't wait to see them. Bye.